Here is a live look inside what was once Sox Park, then Comiskey, then U.S. Cellular Field, and now Guaranteed Rate Field. With opening day just five days away, the White Sox return to a familiar looking field, but with the new name comes new food and a new high end space to take in the game. CBS 2's Marissa Bailey gives us a look. The folks at Guaranteed Rate Field just took a hot dog and a beer at the ballpark to a whole new level. Brisket, tacos, vegetable salads, even the new Guarantee bourbon tea, all part of the new food you'll find at the ballpark on opening day. But that's not all. First we have is our walk-off noodles. It's stir-fry noodles served with egg lo mein noodles, a vegetable blend. The walk-off noodles are just one menu item available in the new Suite 134 that's available for rent to you and 25 of your closest friends right behind home plate. The cost ranges from $4,000 to $6,000, but includes your game ticket, food, beer, and pop options. We're just trying to improve the fan experience and give them another option here at the ballpark to enjoy with friends and family or business clients. And then there's the brand new craft beer bar called the Craft Cave. 38 breweries, 75 flavors with Midwest and local brews on tap and perfectly paired with the eight new burgers on the menu. Really kind of wanted to highlight uh, the onion rings. So it went for Founders All Day IPA. It's got really nice bright carbonation, really nice bright citrus hop quality. Opening day is Monday at home against the Detroit Tigers. First pitch is set for 310. Erica, I know $4,000 might sound like a lot for the suite there, but that is tickets behind home plate, food, mm. beer, drinks, all that included. And when you think about the cost of a Cubs tickets now post ah. championship, ooh, it's probably about the same. Yeah, that can get pretty pricey. And right. You know, with weather like this, I'm already thinking about that brisket or a good burger, Marissa. Couldn't agree more, <laughs> especially in my state. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Marissa.